Hey guys, Coach Rich here. Today we are going to be going over a little bit of an introduction into how to perform a leg extension correctly. Now the leg extension is one of my favorite quad exercises and it's a common misconception that this exercise is not really a good quad builder but more of a shaping exercise. I don't know where that came from or what a shaping exercise actually means but the leg extension is actually one of the best quad exercises because it's where we're gonna be able to load our quads in that fully shortened position the most. Okay guys, so key points here are the setup. Making sure you are nice and tight through the core. Upright, grabbing the handles and pulling yourself down as hard as you can into the seat. Now, one of the most important things with the leg extension is that it is first and foremost a short position exercise. So we're really trying to overload this position here. So don't cheat yourself out of the last inch or two of the movement by stopping short. Make sure you're getting that knee fully extended. A really good cue that you can use to help you do this is to imagine your patella tendon, which is just here under the knee, and actually bringing it up higher than you physically can. The other thing is, while you're doing this, you wanna be thinking about bracing, creating downward pressure with your hamstring into the seat. That way we're gonna be getting extra output from the quads. Now the most common mistakes with the leg extension are not pulling yourself down into the seat. So a lot of the time you'll see people actually come up, therefore not being able to get fully short in the quad. So make sure that we're pulling down into the seat. The other thing is flinging the weight as well and letting your hamstring come up off the seat. As I said before, we wanna be driving down, creating some downward pressure. That way we're getting more output from the quads. Okay guys, so that is a bit of an introduction into the leg extension. As I mentioned earlier, this is one of the best quad builders and the best way to load the quads in the short position. So if you're someone who's been staying away from it while you're trying to grow your legs with squats and leg presses and other big compound movements, don't shy away from it. Get in, implement those points, and I promise it will add another layer to your quad training.